In this equation, we have CuCl2 plus H2S. So to balance the equation, we'll start by counting up the atoms on each side. We have one copper, two chlorine atoms, two hydrogens, and then just the one sulfur. On the product side, we have the one copper, one chlorine, one hydrogen, and one sulfur. So that's what we have, and this is going to be pretty easy to balance. What we'll do is we'll put the coefficient. We can change the numbers in front, but we can't change these little subscripts. So on HCl, we're going to put a 2 in front of the HCl. And this 2, it applies to everything. So I have 1 times the 2 for the hydrogen. That'll give me two hydrogen atoms. So these are the same. They're balanced. And then 1 for the chlorine times 2. That'll give me two chlorine atoms. And all of a sudden, everything on each side of the equation is the same. The equation is balanced. So remember, you can change the numbers in front. Right now, we consider them to be 1, although we don't write that. But you can change the numbers in front, the coefficients. But you can't change these little numbers here. These are called the subscripts. So that's the balance equation for CuCl2 plus H2S. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.